All right, is it a foul part two? These are things we all need to know. All right, here's a situation that comes up all the time, and I don't think a lot of people know the actual rules for this situation or some of these other situations. So, I, so to give you some context, I used to play in a league at Amsterdam Billiards, and John Lehman was the league operator. John is one of the, the best uh, referees in the country, maybe the world, and he knows the rules really well. So him as my league operator, seeing him once a week, we learn the rules really quick. Because these things happen all the time and you have an expert at your disposal. So we got this situation right here. Uh, moving from New York City down to Florida, people in New York City know this rule. People in Florida, it doesn't seem like they know this rule. So, and then traveling around the country, it seems like a lot of people don't know this. Here's a good situation that needs to be addressed. So we're playing the five ball, and we're hovering over this eight. We're playing. If you're playing cue ball, fouls only. If you're addressing the cue ball, and you bump this eight ball, like so, I just barely touched it. Or if we just even if we hit it like a lot, it's not a foul. Cue ball fouls only, that's not a foul. If you're playing all ball fouls, it is, but most people play cue ball fouls only, especially without a ref. So that's not a foul. However, if I hit that eight ball as I'm stroking to hit the cue ball and hit the five ball, and that eight ball moves, it is a foul. I'm, I'm not, it's, it's a similar situation, but as it's, Part of your final stroke, like let's say this, that would be considered a foul. So if it's not part of your final stroke, like this, and you bump it, not a foul. However, you don't just grab it and move it back. You go, you stay back, you go to your opponent and say, listen, I touched the eight. You want to keep it there and move it back. Now the opponent can come up and you guys can decide where it was. So, all right. Or he could say leave it there. Whatever. He's probably going to want to move it back because it's to his advantage to move it back. But if you grab it and just move it back, that is a foul. If I bump this ball right here, not a foul. And I just grab it and move it back, now it's a foul. I just fouled myself. So keep that in mind. But again, you're coming in here just in this. And part of your final stroke, you hit that eight ball. The eight ball moved. It's a foul, no matter what. All right, similar situation. Very similar situation. This actually came up playing somebody recently, which gave me the idea to do this, this video. What this person did was they have this, they're trying to shoot the five ball, and it's just barely blocked by the eight. If, if really at all, it's blocked by the eight. And what they did was they shot a mass A shot. And the eight ball moved. They, made the, they hit the ball. The cue ball goes around and then bump the eight. Again, that's a foul. They strongly disagreed with me that it was a foul. But luckily, there was a professional level player there that night who saw the shot and agreed that is in, in fact a foul. So again, the cue ball doesn't hit the eight. It was their after shot when they went like that. Because the, cue, because the eight ball was in the path of the shot, that is what makes it a foul. All right, we got another situation here. I'm playing nine ball. And I'm going to make this one ball to play position for the two. So we we'll use a little well, inside English here. That is not a foul. Playing cue ball fouls only, that's not a foul. The cue ball's path didn't even come close to this three ball. Again, I go to my opponent and say, hey, I bumped the three. It was not in the, in the line of the shot. Would you like me to move it back or keep it there? They're going to come over, and you're going to agree to where it was, and you move it back. But this would be a foul. So let's say we got the same shot or similar shot right here. We're playing for the two. 
it was something like something like this, right? So you have the same shot. Accidentally hit the three. Now the cue ball's coming over here, and I don't think it would have hit the three, but it's heading towards that path. And now it's, it's, the other one was very clearly out of the way. This one is heading towards that path, and my cue, cue accidentally knocked it out of the way. That would be a foul. It's not in the path, it's in the path. Not in the path, not a foul. Close to the path, it is a foul. All right, we have another situation. It comes up all the time, especially with lower ranked players. Um, let's say we're playing nine ball and we got this two ball right here. Everything's fine, we'll use it to see, all right, that's the angle I want. We're walking around, we're all good. This is perfectly fine. But then you'll see this, people will do this. They'll let go and walk away to look at um, you know, some other angles. This is a foul. You're not allowed to let go of your cue while using it as an aiming device. It's kind of a ticky tack nitty rule, but it is a rule and it is a foul. If you see someone doing it, it's kind of your judgment if you're gonna call someone on that. But this is in fact a foul. Don't do it. Just, I mean, honestly, don't do it. But if someone calls you on it, kind of nitty, but just don't do it. All right, another situation that comes up all the time and it's technically a foul. If you know what you're looking for, you can call people on it. Um, let's say you're playing the two ball, we're playing position for the three, and cue ball gets a little too close to this pocket. And you're like, ah, uh, that's a foul. I don't exactly know why it's a foul, but it's <laughs> like I said before, the referees will call a foul. If it's about to fall in and it doesn't and you hold your hand back, they call it a foul because you may have touched the ball. Just let it fall. Let the ball fall. Don't touch the ball. Don't try to save. What are you saving three seconds? Just three seconds cases. What are you saving yourself uh, a, couple a couple extra seconds of walking around and grabbing it? Just let it fall or let it don't fall. But don't touch it. Just let it do what it's going to do. Keep your hand away. You don't want someone to call that on you. A referee will call it on you. So don't let yourself get in the way of a, a bad situation. when you, It's totally avoidable. Just, just leave it alone. All right. Knowledge is power. I just gave you a little bit of knowledge. Some of these things are very ticky-tacky things that a referee will call on you. A good referee will call on you. Some of the more poor referees, they might not even know that those are fouls or not fouls, but a good referee will call it on you. People need to know these rules. Whether you call it on someone or not is up to you, but you need to know these rules because they could get called on you, and if they do, you'll know, yeah, that's, you're tr that's true, it was a foul. Knowledge is power. Good luck. <laughs>